So I learned today that Jeffrey Dahmer was a proponent of the KJV. Uh, he wanted to argue about what translation of the Bible to, to, to read. We finally ended up uh, agreeing that I would use the NIV translation, he would use the King James because that's what he was comfortable with. And if there were any dis, dis, uh, problems, we would just kind of work those things out as, as we went. But we spent a great deal of time arguing about uh, which, which Greek uh, uh, text you had to rely upon the one that was the base for the new, for the King James one for, for later ones and so forth. And fortunately, I'd done some study in this, so I knew a little bit of what I was talking about. Uh, but we spent a lot of time dealing with that kind of stuff. I was watching this interview with Jeffrey Dahmer's pastor, the one who baptized him and discipled him when Dahmer was in prison. It's a really fascinating interview by What Do You Meme? I definitely encourage you to check out this interview. There were some really, I think, insightful things to learn from listening to this whole situation, listening to this pastor. And it's certainly fascinating as anything to hear about the person who actually interacted with Jeffrey Dahmer on a spiritual level. So I will leave a link to that video in the description of this video for you to check out. But one of the things I noticed, and it really caught my ear as someone who talks a lot about Bible translation on my channel, is that one of the questions that Jeffrey Dahmer had, and that it sounds like he kind of went back and forth with this pastor about, was the issue of Bible translation. And in the end, the pastor says they agreed that Jeffrey Dahmer would use the King James Version, and this pastor would use the New International Version. And I thought there's really a good lesson here. And actually, there's a few really important lessons when you listen to this interview, when you watch what this pastor has to say. But the first one does have to do with Bible translation and the fact that you have really a pastor here who uses the NIV and Jeffrey Dahmer using the KJV. He mentions that Jeffrey Dahmer had a tendency to think in more legalistic terms. And what struck me is that this is really a situation where you see God using two different people who have two different understandings, and God uses Christians who have different understandings to help each other. And so here's this Christian pastor who uses the NIV. He has a different understanding of New Testament textual basis than Jeffrey Dahmer, and yet God used this pastor to disciple Jeffrey Dahmer. Now, if you have questions about whether Jeffrey Dahmer was actually saved, that's something obviously that people do have different perspectives on, but I encourage you, watch that interview and you can have your own take on whether you think he truly was saved. But the point is that even years ago in this particular situation, you have something that people are dealing with today. Bible translation, different points of view. And even Jeffrey Dahmer had this question and came to a different conclusion than the pastor, and yet this pastor was still able to disciple Jeffrey Dahmer in spite of their differences on this issue as well as other issues. Another really important lesson that comes out of this interview has to do with our understanding of the grace of God, and I think that is something that we can, as humans, from a human vantage point, we look at things centered on us so much, but in order to really understand the grace of God, you have to see things outside of our personal perspective and begin to see the bigger picture, see God's perspective. And so that's another thing about this interview I found really interesting and important. It gets us to think about how do we view the grace of God. One other thing I wanted to mention about this interview too that I think really struck me is that today it seems like evangelicals are often being accused of, of being the most hateful people. But if you listen to this evangelical pastor, you'll hear someone who really, you can tell, believes deeply in the love of God, even for sinners like Jeffrey Dahmer. So while evangelicals in our culture today are portrayed as being very hateful, I think you see something very different in this interview. And so I encourage you to check it out. Those are some of my thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think in the comment section below, but thank you so much for taking some time to listen to some of my quick thoughts here brought to you from a fresh perspective.